there's also been a couple of into 2020 and I think 2020 is going to be a huge year and I really hope man I could not have had that any more wrong <laughs> welcome back to the skilled builders guild thanks again for watching today it's the best builds from the scale builders guild forums of 2020 Yes, we did this last year. We did the best builds from 2019. We're doing it again this year. Happy holidays. Hope you're all safe and well and enjoying some well-deserved time off. And I hope that everyone else is looking as forward to 2021 as I am. This year could not end soon enough. And I hope that everyone has a safe and prosperous 2021. If you're not familiar with the Scale Builders Guild, the Scale Builders Guild is primarily a web forum and you know that's where this all started from we are a very tight-knit community great people great builders and honestly it's sort of like a master class if you want to learn everything there is to learn about building and scratch building tiny trucks it's a really great forum tons of amazing members and some really 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 talented builders and what i like to do every year is go through those forum builds see if i can't pick out a few really standout ones and share them with everyone here on the channel i will also of course post links to all of these builds so you can watch these builds come together in a, a threaded format and that's the beautiful thing about forums and a lot of people are saying forums are dead facebook is where it's at and I could not disagree more. Forums are a great place to show chronologically in time how a build comes together and you get to interact and say, hey, how did you do that part? And then the builder will say, well, I did it like this. And then you've just learned something and you get to watch and follow along and see something happen. And I don't think there's anything else really out there that kind of does what a forum does. So without further ado, let's get into the top builds that I've selected for 20 the first build I'd like to talk about today is from Joe122, also known by his real name, Scott Lempert, on the Scale Builders Guild forums. He built a truck that is a, uh, you know, replica of a real truck, and this one's called Brown Sugar. And Brown Sugar is a C10 camper, which uh, I guess was first shown at SEMA in 2019. And... Uh, what Scott's done here is taken existing parts from an RC four-wheel drive blazer body and recreate this incredible one-off camper. This is like a low rider. I guess it's a bagged uh, Chevy truck. That's what it started as anyway. And he's extended the wheelbase and the rear bed uh, considerably to make room for this really cool tricked out tr uh, camper. I don't know how else to explain this other than to say that it is a pretty incredible scratch build. Uh, lots of work went into making it the proper length, uh, including the wheelbase stretch. But more than anything, what really amazes me about this build is the actual camper. Not only does it look amazing on the outside, Scott went to the trouble of recreating it on the inside. So all of the things that are in the real camper are in this tiny version. There's a lot of really amazing styrene work that went into this, and Scott is definitely a master of styrene. He's done countless builds, and he actually cranks them out at a really fantastic rate. I'm not sure how he's able to get them all done in a year, but he'll do six or seven builds of this kind of level every year. It's really incredible stuff. He got a lot of great reference photos and recreated the full interior of that camper. All of the little details, uh, the television, the toilet, the planks along the floor, uh, the wood uh, decorations, everything. He did it all. He actually cut up the frame so the axle sits right in the middle of the frame. It's really, really incredible stuff and it looks fantastic. It's a pretty incredible build and uh, he should be very proud of what he's accomplished. Uh, the microwave, the fridge full of cola, it's honestly, it's out of control. It's a really great place to start for this video and it definitely deserves its spot in the top builds of 2020. I think the coolest part of this build, honestly, is that it ended up in the hands of the owners of the full-size truck. It sits on a display in that office of that builder. It's really super cool. Not only is it a 
construction wise a great build uh the paint is fantastic too i think he was able to color match it pretty close and uh it just it's just awesome i love the wheel work that he did everything on this just speaks custom to me and to see it partnered up with the full-size truck i think is just really tremendous a uh, really great job scott congratulations on making top builds of 2020. I should mention that all the builds I'm featuring today are featured in the Guild's Finest, which is a sub-forum of the overall forum. And what we do there is we feature and show off trucks that uh, we've kind of, as mods and uh, admins, have decided are the best builds and deserve their own special place on the forum. So uh, that is definitely a section you should check out on the forum. It is a huge source of inspiration and some awe-inspiring stuff has been done in this in this sub forum not just everywhere else on the forum but specifically in that section the second truck i'd like to feature for the top builds of 2020 is built by luxer's catch uh and this is a pretty amazing 1958 chevy apache lux always wows us with his builds this one is very special and created out of wood a la headquake uh definitely some inspiration taken from headquake's builds for this uh, but very much an original through and through. Uh, Lux always does a lot of really great builds. He is no stranger to doing some pretty fantastic stuff on the forums. This one was started in 2019, but finally got finished in 2020, and I'm really happy that it did. These wood builds always blow me away. I'm really super impressed with that. I've done a wooden build before, and I will say, quite honestly, Probably one of my worst trucks I've ever done. <laughs> it's not easy and not something that uh, should be taken lightly. This is a pretty impressive build. There are a lot of contours and a lot of shapes on these older trucks. And to get those really complex curves and rounding edges, sometimes styrene is a much better tool to work with. And it's really great to see sort of a melding of the two sort of uh, mediums into one final truck. It's a really impressive process to watch. And uh, I'm always really awestruck and blown away when I see these come together. He also, Lux goes on to show how he makes the windshield. These are really complex shapes. Uh, and he goes through and shows exactly how he did it. Um, it's really, really, really smart, I gotta say. And something I'm gonna be stealing for my next build. <laughs> Lux also does a lot of custom chassis work too, and this is no stranger to that. Uh, it's a completely custom chassis. It's basically made from aluminum. Uh, Luxers is also an excellent painter. He does a really good job of painting, priming, sanding, finishing, and making a truck look weathered. And I think that is a, a real skill in itself as well. Um, just to see something like this come out of basically a few planks of wood is pretty impressive and I think you'll agree that it definitely deserves a spot in the top builds of 2020. I just love that you can go through the whole forum and pour over all of these photos and see how something is put together and constructed so you can learn and shape your own skills. I think that's sort of the really great thing about this forum is that not only do you get to see how everything is put together, but you can ask questions and get answers from the builder themselves so you can learn a little bit about the process and apply it to your own builds going forward. So there you go, another fantastic build, uh, Luxor's Catch. Thank you very much for sharing your build with everyone. It's really awesome to see and congratulations on making top builds of 2020. What would your ultimate build be? What platform would it be on? What sort of building techniques would you use if you knew everything there was to know about tiny trucking or wanted to challenge yourself with some new technique? Post it down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of those comments as I can. If you're enjoying this video, you like content like this and you want to see more of it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. Moving on to our next top build for 2020, pardon my noobs, Tacoma. Uh, yes, this is something that I definitely wanted to include in the list this year. No uh, list of top builds is ever really complete without a build from Pardon My Noob. Uh, Richard does an amazing job of construction, painting, detail work, and when it comes together into a truck like this, uh, it really shows. 
He started with an MFAB 3D printed Toyota Tacoma body. Uh, and um, he is a master of putting these bodies together. They are definitely a puzzle. And uh, while the assembly itself is fairly easy, getting the finish to the point that you don't realize it's 3D printed is the biggest challenge. And Richard is definitely a master at this portion of the work. He is methodical and meticulous, and it really shows in all of the builds that he does. Uh, the amount of sanding required is dozens of hours. And you can't use any power tools because all that heat and friction that would be generated by using a power tool would literally melt these bodies. It's so much work that usually I just send my 3D printed bodies to Richard so he can do all the sanding and prep work. While all of that prep work is important, making sure you have a chassis that works with that truck is equally important. And Richard did a great job. He chose the uh, RC four wheel drive hero. Uh, that's sort of that F-150 Raptor style uh, truck because it is a leaf sprung rear and independent front, which is exactly what a Toyota Tacoma is. I think it required a bit of a stretch, uh, which he did, uh, and the paintwork turned out great. Like I've been doing a lot lately, I just buy aerosol cans of paint matched paint for an actual truck. I find that the quality of the paint is much better and you get a much better uh, clear coat as well. It's just a really great process. He used uh, the actual, what's it called? Toyota Army Green with some 2K clear. Uh, and uh, it looks fantastic. It's so crisp and so clean. Uh, and it's pretty incredible. Lots of 3D printed parts to mount the body to the chassis. Uh, and just fantastic work on all the trim work. It's a really incredible build. He actually even went one step further and used the interior from that hero truck, chopped it up in order to make it fit properly with this Tacoma. It's really pretty spectacular. Uh, it's amazing. I, I really don't have any better words than those to use. When you see it outside in some of the photos that he's taken, you really honestly, they fooled me. It's that good of a build. He really did a great job. Skid plates, spare tire, everything is just so accurate and just so cleanly finished. It's really, really, really a pleasure to see the hard work paying off like this. Uh, Richard is also no stranger to brazing, so of course he brazed up his own sliders, uh, which look fantastic. And that's the great thing about learning a skill like brazing you don't have to rely on somebody else's parts to sort of hope they're gonna fit properly. You can just make your own and know they'll fit from the very beginning. It's a really gratifying process and something that I learned through watching other builds on the forum. It's the best way to pick stuff up like this. So hats off to you, pardon my noob, uh, another fantastic build for 2020 and one that I'm happy to have on the list of the top builds. Thank you so much for contributing and sharing your projects with the forum. And keep your eyes on the skis. And finally, and to be honest, uh, this one, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, really. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good way to end it. I'm kind of speechless about this one. Uh, Wes made another uh, master builder and uh, vendor, I might add, uh, just like uh, Scott, uh, Joe122. Wes Braswell made what I would consider to be one of the finest looking Jeeps this year, uh, maybe of all time. Uh, Wes built the LS Mail Jeep CJ. And if you've never seen this truck before, uh, it's definitely been on lots of covers of magazines definitely has gotten a lot of attention because it's a very unique truck. It's built um, based around a Jeep CJ, but it's got an LS swap motor uh, and it's one heck of a crawler. It's, it's uh, an old male Jeep that's been converted and Wes built this thing 
to be a pretty accurate representation of the full size. It's outrageous and it is very, very cool. And he uses a lot of different styrene techniques in this build. There's a lot of traditional styrene work, but one of Wes's secret weapons is vacuum forming. And Wes vacuum forms a lot of styrene that he builds around wooden bucks uh, in order to get some really complex shapes that are really difficult to achieve any other way with styrene. Pretty amazing. Uh, you warm up the styrene sheet, you place it over the buck, you put it in a vacuum chamber, suck all that air out, and then you've got a perfectly rounded piece. Uh, lots of guys have been doing it, not to this level, because uh, this thing is out of control. It really is. Wes was able to do what a lot of us do and go online and find some reasonably good blueprints of the actual truck and uh, use those to create some of his initial shapes. Uh, it's really super easy. Go online, find some blueprints, scale them down to the appropriate scale, print them out, and then trace them. That's pretty much what we all start with when we're doing a scratch build. He is uh, definitely a master and uh, has done not just all of the styrene work, but a lot of metal work as well. There is a full brazed interior cage, uh, which sits inside the truck. Uh, again, another incredible piece of absolute art this truck is. Um, let's see uh, if we can go into some of the more detail-oriented stuff. West used a VS410 chassis to make everything fit. It's not an easy fit, and having a tiny CJ body on top of that chassis doesn't help either. Uh, but with some trimming, <laughs> extreme trimming, he made it all fit. Uh, pretty incredible. A little bit of reworking to make everything fit properly. But he did manage it. And it looks incredible. The wide stance of those axles. Uh, the cool front metal bumper. Oh, he used some scale metal supplies uh, tabs there as well. Awesome stuff, Wes. All in all, a truly fantastic build. Really cool to see it all come together. And, uh, yeah. This sort of made my Christmas, if I'm honest. Seeing this thing come together was just spectacular. Lots of great detail work on the interior. Uh, it's definitely a more simple interior, but that is with respect to the actual truck. It's not a very complex looking interior, so it all worked pretty well. A fantastic place to end, amazing paint work, uh, great decal work. It's honestly, probably the best build this year uh, and I just think it's just fantastic to see that it's actually being used outside that's the other thing these trucks all get used they're not shelf queens they'll be used and actually taken outside and run uh, kudos to you Wes and kudos to all of the builders who made the list for the top builds of 2020. It's a really impressive sight to see. As not great as 2020 was, I do think it was a great year for tiny trucks. We got a lot of great releases and a lot of new platforms on which to build our creations. There are a lot of great products out there and a lot of great trucks yet to be built. And I think that 2021, is going to be an even better year for tiny trucks. There is a strong future in this hobby, and it's because of enthusiasts like you and enthusiasts like those on the forum. I really invite you to go check it out. Like I said, links are in the description so you can check out all these builds on your own time. I hope you will do that. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Happy New Year.